want to talk about humor. Um, <laughs> at the core of who you are, and the core of your humor, and your career, is this humor mm -hmm. that is like an energy, it's like mm -hmm. a gasoline, mm -hmm. sorry, it's us, fossil carbon, uh, it's like a perpetual renewing, it's mm -hmm. a sunshine. Mm -hmm. What is that? Where does that come from? Not from lightness. So a revelation for me was when my dad had a stroke and I looked at him and he was, he was diffidence personified pre-stroke and there was a point and I said, Daddy, are you going to laugh or are you going to cry? And he said, I don't know. And he was frightened. And whatever the stroke had done, I asked the psychiatrist and he said that there's this thing called aprosodia, I think, and, and, and the ability to laugh and cry comes from the same part of the brain. And if it was affected, he lost the ability to decide. And uh, that's a very uh, non-scientific way of putting it. But, but uh, I, I am the girl who makes jokes at a funeral. I, I, at my dad's funeral, I had a friend say, yeah, you've got to have jokes in there, Fiona, when I was speaking with my dad. I, I can be tasteless because I think it's really important to laugh instead of crying. And I think that's where my humor comes from. I never, uh, I know if something should get a laugh because I think I might laugh at it, but then an audience always surprises me and laughs at things that I never think are funny. And I get laughs as McGonagall that I have no idea why they're funny, but I do know that timing, my timing is right to get the truth of it across. I think people laugh at truth. So, I think there's a time when an audience says, I'm going to laugh at this because I could cry, but I think I'll laugh. And sometimes they just laugh because it's slapstick funny. Uh, that kind of humor doesn't interest me at all, at all, except for the finesse of it. But the timing of humor where someone chooses to laugh instead of crying, I think is a miracle of the universe. <laughs> Don't you? I do. You said it really, really well. And I'm just. I'm even more interested now, why are laughter and tears so alike? They're well, so they come from the same part of the brain. Um, but that's the geography of it. Why is the impulse to laugh or the impulse to cry almost the same? Because we need to. It's, there's something about mortality in there. There's something about, um, yeah, I think, I think it is a human need. I mean, with the war in Ukraine, you listen to how they use their music and there is a lightness of being that is essential to sing that song that tells them what their language and what their music is and what their heritage is. Um, it's profound and it's a real human, a basic essential need, right? Um, so. Uh, so that lightness of being is a, is a, is a profound sense of, of our existence, I think. Do you think you were put on the earth to make people laugh? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Does that mean I have a job for life? I want one. <laughs>